what is up guys it's your boy 23 oceans we're gonna be trying out fierce to fathom iron bark tower i just finished playing this game and god dang can't wait to share my own experience with y'all hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get straight to it all right guys we're gonna go and start this game iron bark lookout new game let's go see how this thing is and uh let's see what this is about man yeah may 12. what we got what we got looks like a dialogue here i noticed you were requesting story submissions while i was watching youtube uh, YouTuber playing Fears to Fathom in Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone how about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in the state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the most only sense of home I had at the time. All right. This one time I transferred from one outpost to another because some uh, was that some official uh, circumstances. Guys, I'm fucking uh, reading like Joe Biden right now. God damn it. <laughs> it was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out my RV and like traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off the new location. It was about a two hour drive. All right. Oh, OK. Looks like rain, guys. Just taking a little stroll patrol, you know what I'm saying? Got the nice RV. Damn, dude. Homie got his set. Shit. You know, with rent being so high these days, guys, I might end up getting me a freaking RV. Text from Kayla Nelson. What is this? Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Oh, what the hell? I don't get why you're like, you know, driving and texting or texting and driving. Guys, I don't advise you guys text and drive, okay? Don't do that. Things just gonna mess you up, man. A lot of people have been getting into accidents with that shit. We ain't doing that. No, no, no. Yeah, what's that? Oh, so he's just reminiscing about this RV drive and how things are going so far. So let's freaking go, dude. I'm actually enjoying this little cruise. Nice graphics. So retro, though. I really, really like how it's uh, retro. All right. It kind of reminds me of like those old school ass games. Always loved the great outdoors. Who wouldn't love the great outdoors? It's only just a bunch of crazy, uh, psychotic people doing, uh, you know, scary stuff. But, you know, it's nice. Bills. What? I felt like I was a home in the woods. Okay, Kayla messaged me again. And she knows damn well I'm freaking driving. I remember this diner while passing Rosenberg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. Really use a good meal. Staffing starch. Thanks, Kay. All right. You know, if you're going to consider driving... And you see a message, just park on the side, but don't be like me where I just freaking stop in the middle of the road. God knows who was freaking back there. Let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah, man, this is quite the ordeal, I would say. All right, so we're approaching a town. It seems like we're kind of near that diner, maybe. I need to grab a bite. My boy's hungry. He's hung. All right, oh, there it is. Do I have to park in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. God dang, dude. Already freaking messing up on the parking, guys. Is there a way that we can get out? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let's go and check out this diner and go see what's it, what it's about. All right. And here we are. Oh, my goodness. Looks so creepy in here, guys. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you will like. I'll be right back. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take our seats and see what kind of food they got. All right. It's really crazy right now. Really nice, fine dining. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'm ready to order, baby girl. Mmm. We got grilled cheese, meatball subs, and a cheeseburger with fries. Hey, yo, I'm going with the cheeseburger and fries, yo. Uh, kind of, what's that? Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like uh, anything to drink? Yes, give me a large Coke. What? Coke. 
I'm fucking up, guys. I'm fucking up big time. Um, this will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. All right, guys. So, what do you like an aspect of this game? I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Well, I guess the homie wants to go and uh, take a piss. So, take a piss, he shall. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Close that door. Don't want anyone to look at us. Wait a minute. Where's the freaking toilet? Do we just pee in this trash can? I guess we pee in the trash can, guys. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay. Oh, yeah, yo. Why is this thing floating? Oh, oh, what the freak? Bruh. What the fuck? I'm just pissing on the freaking floor, guys. Don't look at me. Oh my god, this game is so freaking crazy, bro. Well, there you go, guys. When you really gotta go, you just gotta go. If you know what I'm saying. All right, let's get out of here. Don't, they, they got the mop and bucket in there, so it'll be a whop for sure. I'll stop. Anyways, let's get back to our seat. I think I was sitting here. Yeah, I was sitting here. All right. So, we gotta wait for our food now, huh? We gotta wait for our food. There's our food, baby girl walking slow and mellow. Look at that. Be careful with my food. Whoa, whoa. So you're just gonna slam it. Don't even say, hey, enjoy your meal. She probably, she probably doesn't even like this job, bro. She probably hates it. So let's go and eat. Wow. That, that, that looks pretty tasty. I actually want to try that out. Yeah. Mmm. Some fries. Yeah, give me the fries. Uh, dude, did, did you even put any sauce with that, bruh? Like, just a floating set of fries, okay? Get some drinks. Okay, baby girl, Kayla, just hold on. Let me just finish my big uh, gulper right here. And, uh, I'll freaking read that message. Okay. So, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. I'm still eating. So, it's just so good. Is that it? That's all of it, right? Oh, why am I going to throw this? Okay, I guess uh, we're done now. Told you, hee hee. Okay. Oh, did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like anything else or should I get the check? Get the check, please. And I'll be back. Okay, let's go look at what uh, messages we put. Food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. Talk about freaking Riz. This guy's trying to Riz up, baby girl, Kayla. Wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Say, see you, send you in a bit? Yeah, sure, baby girl. Do that. Let's go get our own food back. Oh my god, guys. I'm messing up on this already. All right, here's a check. Total of six bones. Let's go to... Why am I a $50? 50% too. Let's go 15. I mean, I would, but we need some extra money on the road back. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your ride. Thank you. That was great. A great time even though you just slammed your freaking food right on the table we're just enjoying the cruise again we're just you know riding around oh. what's this 802 p.m why 802 couldn't just be eight o'clock oh damn this is it's pretty creepy out here it's one thing about the woods guys it's always gonna be weird i want to include the location of this park okay well, I mean, it looks nice, but I don't want to don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Would you look at that? So many RV stops. I should stop and get me a break. I guess they were supposed to go out here, guys. Let's go. And I don't want to leave this comfy ass freaking RV. I might as well just stay at night and wait till daytime. Is there any flashlight of some sort? No gonna be pure darkness guys what is this you oh my god i'm getting pissed you didn't have to do that bro you didn't have to do that man holy moly you scared me i thought you were one of them one of who may lord have mercy anyways can i see your permit please oh i'm not a camper you're billy right I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Hang on. Let me check on that. Oh, my goodness, bro. Did he really have to jump in freaking front of me, bro? Like, come on, dude. 
Bro looks like a washed up Rick Rhymes. If he was in a PS2 game. I don't know. That's just me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm roasting. Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Heard that. Apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for their season. But here are your keys. Thank you for the keys. Let's go and uh, head out. Let me open the fire trail uh, gate door for you. Sure. Yeah. Got the tower key now. Can I drive in? Can I take my RV? I don't want to just... I don't want to just... Uh, you know, go in there with just myself. Like, bro, I don't even have any protection on me. Hello, horror movie 101. I don't want to be messing up on that. Let's go just see if we can take this. Can we? Oh, yes, we can. All right, let's go drive in. I don't know if you're supposed to drive in or not, but let's just go. I drove my RV into the foot trail. Oh, since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight. Thank you, Billy. Wow. Okay, we're going to do this the smart way. Oh, I guess you kind of go in it. God damn it. I thought that I was a smart one. I'm the dummy here. Now, for your purposes, when you get to your to tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you talked to safely. Heard that. If you need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. It'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you. Thanks, Billy. All right. That's a banged up RV. That's pretty crazy. Is that the... Oh, okay. I guess that's not the right way. Turn around just for nothing, but that's a nice view, though. Let's keep going. I'm kind of scared, guys. Like, what if something just jumps out of nowhere again? Like that damn cop earlier. Because that damn cop pissed me off with that shit. Didn't, that, that was totally un, unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. All right, Tower 11. We're on our way. I just hope that, you know, we don't get into some skunk stuff. If you know what I'm saying. Some skunk shit. Some weird stuff. Just yet. I don't know. I just want to get to the tower and, uh. You know, be safe. Just make my own first report. All right. What we got? What we got? Tower 11. Here we are. Tower 11 is right there, baby. I just can't believe this freaking uh, flashlight is like not even bright, guys. Like you can't even see in front of you. How many new is it? Newmans or lumens? Is this shit? Utility shack. Do we need to go to the utility shack for anything? I'm just going to double check. Can we turn these on. No, I'm just exploring. All right. Well, we're going to have to eventually come here for something later. Let's just go up to the tower, guys. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. We're doing OK. Generators. You're going to need those generators, guys. If you're going out like this, guarantee you're going to need a generator, but just not too loud. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Yes, as you could state the obvious. All right. Um, The door open. There we go. Let's go just throw our bag um, on top of this and close the door. What's this here? What is this? What is this I'm holding? Oh, matches. Oh, you can use this if we need. Well, we don't need this right now. Let's go put it down. Oh, <laughs> just freaking through it. Okay. Um, uh, what is that we have to do? We have to do is that our lookouts must follow these rules. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guess. Uh, system password is Iron Bark Tower number. Refuel generator. Update the report. I guess this is going to be our own uh, checklist that we have to do. Um, forgot to turn on the generator at first. God dang it. I knew it. Freaking knew it. I knew we had to do with that uh, generator shit. God freaking dang it, guys. I'm getting freaking I'm getting pressed right now. Right, there we go. I could have sworn I pressed that, but I guess it's just part of the storyline, right? Like you just gotta, gotta just play it how it is. At least that we got the generator running, we can start, uh, you know, doing our work here. I feel safe up here, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started on our work. We have to do our weather report. Was that rainbow, multicolor? What? Oh, I guess we're booting up the computer. Yep, there it is. Rainbow ninety eight. Damn, this is old as hell. Iron bark. 
What was the password again? I'll have to look. Was it iron? What is it again? Uh, iron bark. Uh, what are we? Iron bark eleven. Oh, let me type the password. All right, we're in. So what's next? Rainbow ninety eight, man. This is a pretty old ass freaking uh freaking setup right here, man. Service reporting. There we go. Welcome to the state of the art service reporting software. Oh, what happened? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Okay. Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrive. Oh, that's Connor, true. Fire Tower 12. Anyways. Nice. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change, man. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. Hmm. You got a fire going? No. All right, so I guess we have to go and make a fire. Not sure how we can do that, but let's just we can go. Uh, Absorn Firefinder. It's like a giant compass sized pizza. Okay, uh, how do we light a fire? I think it's through this. So let's go light this up. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? I'm about to. Woodstove should be around the entrance. Okay. Okay, where is the wood though? Oh, okay, wood stove. Is, do we have to get wood downstairs? Is that what we gotta do? It's like a puzzle, right? Any wood though here? No? I guess not. I guess I have to go and uh, head down. I'm completely failing. Oh, okay. I guess it's uh, I guess it's up here. I'm completely failing on this, guys. Go talk to them again. Okay, there's no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Okay. Staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyway, okay. You better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. All if right. Not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. I knew it. We had to go to the storage shack. So I wasn't crazy, guys. All right, let's go and make our way down. Hey, there's the shack. I knew it. We had to come back here to get some firewood. And get a couple, actually. Okay, so what? Place on the stove. So we're going to head back up now. And hopefully we can actually uh, get this fire going. Because I've been, like, delaying this for too long. Talking to this guy on the radio. Telling him that I just don't have anything yet. All right, let's go and place some uh, wood in there and uh, let's go put some gas. And I'm completely going to freaking burn. Talk about fire safety, guys. Um, <laughs> where is those matches? I think I freaking dropped it down here. I have to go get it. May have dropped it or somewhere. Did I? There it is. Bah. All right, let's go and uh, light this baby up and let's get this ship started. Hope you guys are really enjoying this, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment what you think about this game. I've yet to play this game, man. Or even understand what's the concept of this game. What? Uh, so far, so good. I see the smoke. Yep. You see the smoke, don't you? I mean, we just started it. Yep. No. I'm about to report for the night. How do I do it? Do I really have to sit to talk? No, let me get to it. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. All right. Wait, uh, do we go here? Wind speed, cloud, number of hikers assisted. I haven't even started yet. I haven't even checked. Let me see if there's some tools that we can use around here. Nope. Can't use that. Um, what else is here? What else is here? Uh, where, what are, where are the tools at? Okay. Let's go use. We are at 17 knots. Okay. Wind is 17. 17 knots. And then temperature. 
You know what's temperature? Let's go get up. Okay, so wind. And then how do you check the temperature? What's this here? Can't even see anything, dude. It's like so hard to see. Uh, let's go drop this for now. Temperature. How do we measure the temperature? Where do you measure the wind? Oh, there it is. Temperature is 44.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. 44.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 44.6. Okay. Number of hikers assisted? Zero. Uh, I don't even know. Let's go back. We have to just keep on uh, investigating. So I guess this is pretty much what a fire watch tower is. Watch the wind, take the temp. From the looks of it, it looks pretty windy out here. All right, let's go put down our report. So service reporting. It's like we're actually here. Input zero. And then uh, it's going to be wind. Weather condition wind ported by what's his name again? I'm just gonna, I think it's Jack. Jack, wasn't sure if I had it and put it right with the weather condition. Uh, clear, yeah, it was clear. Iron bark forestry hey, service. Okay. All right, yes, I'm right here. Town Whatever one level you copy. All right. Well. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. All right. Well, let's go and get up and uh, sleep. I was, I was made sure the door's locked before bed. Okay. Let's go and sleep. Hope that there's nothing uh, weird or scary that's going to go on. 3.26 a.m. Uh-oh. Unintelligible. What the heck is that? What's going on, man? Going to respond, see what's going on at the Ginnicom. Connor? Had to pee. Where is my flashlight? Is it here? Where did my flashlight go? I thought I had my flashlight. Is it here? Where is my flashlight? There it is. Okay, where am I going to pee though? There's no bathroom up here. We're going to probably have to go downstairs. Ain't had quite a trip though. You have to go downstairs to freaking use the bathroom. That's kind of scary. My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Okay. Then where are you gonna pee then, bro? Um, if you're gonna pee, you wouldn't want to pee around this area though. Can I not go and pee? Oh, you just what? No way. We have to pee here. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> wow, we're just peeing in the friggin' like fire watch tower. That's messed up. What if somebody's down there, dude? I just love the aspect of peeing though. Look at that, bro. Oh, what the freak? I don't know if I just saw something down below. I literally thought I saw something down below in the corner. I probably have to do that instant replay. Who knows? All right. Um, still nothing on that tower, huh? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, looks like we're just going to have to uh, go back to sleep. And then just proceed on with our investigations and stuff. Night two. And here we are. What a nice view today, man. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. This is really nice, guys. Look at that. It's amazing. I think that's probably one of the, uh, you know, perks about being a firewatch guard or firewatch tower guy. Okay, take a photo. Mind you, this is the guy's first day. Yeah, we're just going to continue uh, slurpy turpy, if you know what I mean. It, it, that's not really how you would actually, you know, slurp, right? You know, take more photos? Bro is being photogenic today. Okay, keep sipping, keep sipping. Keep on sipping. All right. So let's keep going and pushing. New guy. You copy? Yes, I'm here. Tower 12. You can yes, I copy. Let me go and uh, take care Tower of it. 11. You copy? Yes, copy. Son of a bitch. What happened? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. 
Oh gosh. Let me go ahead and uh, take a look. Let me use, let me drop this damn coffee. I don't need that shit. North of my position. Yes, I see it. I'm going to throw that there. Yes, I see it. Yes, sir, I see it. Oh my gosh, this guy's really pushy, but I guess that's how it comes out, huh? Yeah, I see it. Okay. Wow. Okay, heading north airport. Yes. Do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow lazy trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards. Okay. Stay safe out there. All right. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to use that bear spray. Let's go and take that bear spray, and we'll take a flashlight, just in case, right? Or should I use my compass? I don't think it's dark right now. Is it? Is it dark? I think it's morning time, ain't it? No, it looks dark. Let's just take this. Fast travel over there. Why not? Sure. Oh my goodness. I knew it. I'm glad that I brought my own flashlight. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Can't believe we're going on our own though, dude. That's crazy. Oh shit. Someone just screamed. Hey, come on, man. What's up with that? No camping. Violators will be sighted and moved. Oh, shoot. What's this? Jack, are you okay? View from my tower. Hope everything's here. Play back when you see this. Oh, okay. Uh, Looks like a campsite that has been previously used. Looks like they're doing some EVP monitoring or like some kind of like scary shit. Emergency enclosure trail inducted. Who's there? Anybody there? Show yourself. Wow. And it's getting dark too. Why am I freaking playing with fire right now, guys? Is this a lake? Can we go into the lake? No. Um. What can we, what else could we use here? Oh, have to put it out. Where is is there any water here? We use maybe that. We use that? No, you just have to drop one of these. Uh, where is the water though? We use that. Maybe if I use one of these, leave that there. No. Yeah, there's a bucket of water there. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Get this. So smart. So smart, bro. Talk about smoke with a bear. Yeah. Kill that fire. Talk about fire watch. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's dead. Let's go get back our own uh, bear spray. We're gonna need that. Oh, shoot. Is that a, a machete we could take? Oh, man. I thought we could. Well, we're gonna need this. Anyone else over here? Is that it? Areas beyond that site was closed. Well, I guess that we did our job. I guess we have to go back, huh? I don't think that's it. Or that probably is it. Who knows? Let's keep going. Yeah, it seems like there's nothing going on, so I'm gonna get, just go and head back to my tower. Yo, what the freak, bruh? I keep freaking hearing noises. That was about a one hour trek. So I hiked back to my tower through the dark. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Okay. We're back again. Uh, We're back in the iron bank. Or iron, iron bark. Let's go see what's the deal. Why does everything look all like, like someone's been here? Generator's still good. Got my bear spray. Good thing that I got my bear spray. Have you guys ever got pepper sprayed? I had to do that once around job and it was not fun, guys. It was really not a fun ordeal. All right, let's go and talk to the intercom. Not to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. All right, Connor, do you copy? 
Fuck him. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Has this been happening a lot? That's nuts. Uh, mention the screen. What? There's a man in the screen. What? Kids went missing, right? Damn. What has to do with campers? Entities. Okay. I only wish they were true. Well, only wish they were true. You know That's unsettling. Absolute nut. Excuse me. Alright. Heard that. Agreed. Over and out. All right, over and out. So let's go and uh, I guess we're just gonna have to conduct our own duty now. Just do the usual, uh -huh. right? Uh, uh, we're gonna have to go back down and get some wood. What is this? Pizza pasta bake. Looking at the photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try. Oh, that looks good, man. I guess Kayla's the girlfriend of the character. We're gonna have to go and grab some more wood, guys. I wish I brought some before I went up. I thought we would still have, but it's how it is. I still have my own bear spray. Yeah. So far, we're doing okay, man. I'm really liking this game, dude. It's, like, pretty interesting. And, you know, it's kind of like a very eerie thriller style kind. And I'm really enjoying this game, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay, too. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna try and play some more of this. Uh, style of games like I've been even seeing some other uh, scary games like Among the Deep that looks crazy too but yeah guys if you guys are really enjoying this please if you can drop a comment down below leave a subscribe tell me what you think about this game uh, let's go and do this oh uh, I think I have to put gas first so let's go put some gas even though that is spilling all over the floor talk about fire safety guys oh my goodness Okay, there we go, we got a fire started. And then I'm gonna go and toss this over here. Uh, do we have to do our reports? Yeah, we're gonna have to do our reports today, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Here we go. So I guess that's just how it is, huh? We're kind of keeping tower of, uh, keeping tally of what's going on around here. So it's 907. Looks like we are uh, kind of just doing our average daily job and I'm kind of liking this right now go just do a little bit of a sweep see what's going on around here got the other tower over there man guys I really like this game the aspect of it looks pretty interesting you know it, it kind of feels like that same game uh I don't know if you guys ever played Roblox but this thing called uh scary stories short scary stories kind of like this like you know there's a little bit of a storyline there's some crazy stuff happening I don't know but I've yet to expect what's to come in this game. I really like this game so much. Let's keep continuing. Uh, what's next? Maybe we'll just go to bed. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to uh, get some food. Got to go here and just refer to whatever ingredients that was. So uncooked pasta. And where do we put that? Oh, okay. Awesome. And then we go here. And then what's next? Uh, marinara sauce. It's a soda. Marinara, okay. And then, what's next? Pepperoni? Where's the pepperoni at? Oh, there's the pepperoni. Awesome. We'll just do a crouching style. Pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. Where can we find the mozzarella cheese? That's peas. Um, is it a can? That's baked beans. Uh, big beans Diced tomatoes. I think I saw that in the menu. Yeah, diced tomato diced tomatoes and Then mozzie cheese. Where's the mozzie cheese at? Oh, we don't need that There it is All right now what 
So we got diced tomatoes, marinara sauce. Okay, place the ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. Bake for 420. Uh, was that 420 degrees, 35, 45 minutes? Okay. So let's put this in here. Just throw it in there, right? I ah, shit. Just fucked it up. Oh, there. <laughs> we have to freaking throw it in, guys. My God. All right. And uh, it's going to go ahead and cook. Hopefully that's that. Okay, I'm gonna go drop that there. Can we, can we wait for that shit? Oh, yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, what? What is it? What? Good shit. Okay. Bro is tired. Uh, I was just getting to it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Connor. Good night. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of our reports while the food is cooking. Uh, let's go take care of the wind draft. What's our wind draft today? Wind draft is 20 knots. I think I've already did my report, but I'm not too sure. No, I didn't. Okay. So, uh, what is that? Wind speed, 20 knots. Now we have to just take care of our temperature. And a smiley guy, though, or a smiley face. Temperature is 46.9 degrees Fahrenheit. And imagine if I did this in real life, though, I'd probably do this. Uh, 46.9. Then how's the weather? Weather kind of looks a little cloudy. So let's just put cloudy. Cloudy, no, no one assisted, and then Jack. I don't know why, but I'm just putting Jack. All right. So let's just keep going. Mm-hmm. Oh, would you look at that? Just remember to smell a fresh sizzling cheese. Uh, liked eating in bed. Okay. So we're gonna sleep and eat this whole casserole in bed. Do I just put it here? I was too hungry. Okay. Liked eating in bed. Okay. How do we eat this though? This is a lot of food. Oh my goodness. Okay. We is he really gonna eat all of that, bro? Oh my god. And look at that door is even open too, bro. This guy's going on a freaking full on food bench. She probably misses this girl so much. Who knows? Probably misses baby girl. That's freaking crazy, bro. Oh my god. That's already full. Yeah, he ate half of that. I was thinking like if he ate that whole thing, yeah, I'd be I'd be done, but okay. Let's go. Could have kept in oh you know what? There we go. Could have kept in the refrigerator. Okay, there we go. Alright, and uh I guess I'm just gonna leave all that there. Let's go to bed. It was getting cold, I thought it would wood stove lit. Did I get wood? Oh my god, I didn't get wood, didn't I? Son of a freaking gun, bro. Right? There we go. Drop that there. And let's go to bed. Oh, and close the door too. We gotta close the door. Alright. I wish close the boards outside. What? Always close the boards outside before heading to bed. The boards? Oh, these boards. Why? Because he's scared? But it's good to have those out, though. That's so strange. Is it even this one, too? No, that's the generator line. I guess he's just afraid of having the windows open because he might see, like, a bunch of people. Like, that one scary story, like you're saying, just a bunch of paintings every night, and it's so nice, and the reality is just a bunch of people watching them at night. That's scary. Anyways... What? I have to close more boards? Thought I did. Oh, that one I didn't do. Okay. Hopefully that does that does it. All right. We're doing good, guys. We're actually pushing through with this. Day was it? Two twenty-seven a.m. Oh shit! 
I was awoken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What? What happened? Well, first things first, I'm gonna get me my self-defense spray. Something very strange about that night. Uh oh. Please don't tell me, bro. Where the fuck did I put my flashlight? Oh my god, where's my flashlight, bro? Oh my fucking god. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be freaking kidding me. All I did was just literally just cook myself a meal and then I get fucked up like that, bro. Are you freaking serious? Oh my freaking god, bro. I'm freaking dead right now. <laughs> Click on these videos up on screen right now if you guys want to see more playthroughs on scary games. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. It's been your boy 23. Peace out. Yeet town. Ocean out. I'll see you on the next one.